Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah. If you're new here and I do videos on Tuesdays and Fridays, for this week's video, I am using a new palette to me. It's not new to the brand, but they did just like revamp it. So it technically is kind of like new. I don't know. So it's new, but not new. <laughs> and it's the Ensley Rain Cosmetics Flower Moon Palette. I already did swatches and I also showed you what the palette looked like when I got it. And then the changes that I made to it, which um, I will insert those clips here. So we have the before with the acid yellow and the orangey shade, which I do think are pretty, but I definitely will probably never use that acid yellow. And then the orange, maybe. So I'm going to depot those two and put into place that the two purpley blues. And then um, I will put the yellow and orange in the pans that I take the purple and blues out of just to still have them around but they won't be in the palette itself. And this is also what the palette looks like closed as well. Super pretty. The palette with the two new shades. Now it's my first time repressing shadows so I don't know they might not be <laughs> perfectly done. I had to redo this lighter shade um, a second time because it kept breaking when I was testing it to see if it was pressed okay. Um, I don't know if it's just like the formula because of the lighter tone and the purple. I don't know. But anyways, hopefully they'll last and hold up since I did press these two myself. <laughs> I guess we will see. Um, but yeah, so this is my version of the Flower Moon palette by replacing these two shades. I do think the other shades that were in the palette were really pretty. But I think that acid yellow, you know I love my grungy greeny tones, however that acid yellow I don't think will look good on my skin tone, I think it'll make me look kind of sickly. And because of these four like purpley shades up here, um, I just really felt like these two shades would go really well with this palette. And then the um, orangey yellow shades. I did repress into the pans that these two came in. I would have just put the pans in, but they were too big, so that's why I had to repress everything. Um, so those two put in with my Give Me Glow Single Shadows. So there's that yellow and then the orange. So they are in here if I do want to use them and reach for them, whether with this palette or something else. But I did just repress them because I just felt like the purpley blues went with this palette better. So with that being said, 
I guess I will now um, do a tutorial for you. All right. Back. Um, so yes, yeah, so I changed out Lush and Rejuvenate, which was like that acidy yellow color, and then the orange. I do think they are pretty and they go with the palette, but like the acidy yellow, those shades, I love grungy shades and like grungy, olivey, like yucky looking greens and stuff. But the acid yellow on me does not look the best. I did keep them, which I showed you in the clips. Um, I have them with some other singles that I have from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. Um, so if I ever do want to dip into them to use with this palette, I do have them or to use just like with other things. Um, but I replaced them with these two bluey purples, which first time repressing shadows, the light bluey purple seemed to struggle a little bit. I actually had to press it a second time because it was kind of like crumbling um, even after I pressed it the first time. So I'm hoping the shades that I changed it out <clears throat> with, <clears throat> all of a sudden I have a frog in my throat. I'm hoping the shades that I changed out, the repressing and everything, I'm hoping that that holds up and that they don't like crumble or break or something, but I guess we'll see. Um, but anyways, so yes, I changed those out. And this palette also, I didn't mention earlier, has a mirror, which the Harvest Moon and Cold Moon do not. So I do love that it has a mirror because usually they don't. Um, so I just did a green look last week. And I do feel like when I see people use this palette, they use the greens pretty much every single time. So I wanna do something a little different. I want to use the pinks that are in here and I want to use my purple, the blue shades that I put in here to kind of show why I thought they would go well with the palette and why I wanted to change out those other two shades for shades like these instead. So I'm gonna do two looks. Um, it's gonna be one look on each eye. I'm gonna do a pink matte with some of the purple shimmers on one side, and then I'm going to do the bluey purple mattes on one side with the pink shimmers. So just trying to make sure I match the depths and everything, but then changing the shimmers just so that way you kind of like fully mix them together, helps them to be super cohesive. Um, but the main thing to make like two different eye looks cohesive is just to make sure you're using the same depth um, So like one side isn't way darker than the other or anything like that so we're just gonna jump right into it and the I Didn't say before but the two single shadows that I used to replace the other so they're from lethal cosmetics and I'm trying to think of which ones they were that I used I think the so the lighter shade that I bought uh, let's see is altitude which is the lighter bluey purple and then the mid-tone purpley blue that I bought is cyanus so those are the two if you were curious at which shades they are because I won't be saying that <laughs> anymore. Um, so let's zoom in and just do the look. I'll do the pink side first, I think. So I'm just gonna grab a fluffy brush. I'm going to dip into, I don't know, I can't remember off my swatches if these two are kind of the same like depth, but just different. I think I'm gonna dip into Peony first, which is more of like, a peachy pink shade and I'm just gonna start applying that everywhere in the outer corner and the crease and above the crease because I have like I wouldn't say fully hooded eyes because people that do have hooded eyes like I feel like they look a little different than mine but I do have like a hooded eye so and my eyes are slightly different so like this eye that I'm working on right now I would say is closer to like a fully hooded eye because there's no like creases or anything like it just whereas this side there's a crease in the outer corner so like it's not a full hood you see more of my lid and stuff over here which I think I don't know I always think the makeup looks better on the eye that I'm doing right now um, I think it's just because, I don't know, 
I don't like that they are different shapes because it makes it really hard to make sure the makeup looks like even on both sides. Like this side will always look like I took the makeup out further and I didn't, but it's just because of the shape like you can see more of my lid and the outer corner on that side of my face I don't know it's kind of a pain it makes it so I take longer to do my makeup than I probably would but I'm just trying to make sure that it's like looks the same so anyways um yeah and then in my swatches I did I just realized I didn't actually take pictures of the swatches so I might have to re-swatch everything so I have pictures I don't know if I'm going to do that because I really don't want to. Um, I tried to like hold up a mirror so you guys could see because in the mirror the shades had completely different like colors shining through than if I was looking at them just on my arm. Like I could see some of the shifts but then the mirror showed completely different shifts. I tried to show that with the mirror but honestly it I took like seven tries to attempt to do it and I don't think it really worked out so I'm a little frustrated about that but I did attempt because like pink moon on my arm I could just see like obviously the pink base and then like a goldy peachy kind of like flip but then in the mirror there was like a green flip and I was like whoa that looks completely different and there was quite a few of them that did that but do you think that I could get that to come through not really okay so that's pink or peony all over and I'm going to take Mayflowers which is the other pink and I'm going to kind of apply that I don't know how this tone is okay so it's really not any deeper than peony I would say that pink is like the same tone this one is just more of a cool tone pink whereas peony is a little bit warmer and peachier but I'm still going to take Mayflowers I'm just going to put it like in the crease I'm not dragging it up as high as peony um, and then I also put it in the outer corner as well but yeah so I don't those two shades are basically the same tone so you can't really like layer them to add depth they're like the same tone it's just one is a warmer pink and one is a cooler tone pink so I couldn't remember I did the swatches yesterday this is the next day I did the swatches yesterday I'm taking a little bit more peony um I did the swatches yesterday and then I did the depotting and repressing yesterday um which was my first time so it really didn't take that long even though it was my first time doing it it was mainly just because I had to mess with that one shade so much. I don't know. Okay. I'm just trying to blend out like this front. I feel like it kind of has a stark line. I'm trying to get it to kind of blend. But yeah, I was really excited that this palette came in because it was like a two to four week pre-order and I just ordered it and it like showed up within, I want to say a week. So I was like, I wasn't expecting this for a couple of weeks still. So this is exciting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was kind of shocked. Okay, so that's those. And then I'm gonna take Renew, which is the darkest shade in here. It's kind of like a purpley, purpley brown. And I'm just gonna use that to deepen up the outer corner, mainly because Mayflowers wasn't any deeper than Peony. So I wanna just add a little bit of depth. And this is the one shade I think um, for matte, so I'm gonna use on both sides so okay just in the outer corner 
just adds like a little bit of depth. I didn't like super build it up. You could definitely make that way darker. I don't like to have the outer corner super dark. I just like to add a little bit, so that's perfect. Okay, now the other side. Take some clean brushes and do the same thing, but with the bluey purple. So I'm gonna take Lush first. I'm like so nervous to use these because I've repressed them myself and I really don't know how they're gonna hold up. <laughs> now, these two shades that I replaced are definitely a true like light tone and mid tone. So I'm gonna have to use the mid tone one to deepen this one up to kind of get them on the same level as the pink side. The shades that I repressed myself, I will say they have like a lot more kickback and stuff in the pan, but I mean, I did redo it myself, so can't really like, <laughs> you know, I told my husband, I hope these don't like fall apart because I repressed them myself because then I just won't have two mattes in this palette and that will be kind of a bummer and I'll be kind of annoyed. <laughs> um, and I'll just have wished that, oh yeah, see that's cracking. I don't know um, if because it's like these purpley blues and I know purple is hard to formulate if like that's why they didn't repress well because the two shades from the palette that I put in the other pans and repress like those ones because I kind of tested all of them with a brush yesterday and those ones held up really good so I don't know if these are struggling because they have that like purple and I know purples are a little bit more finicky or what but like I'm literally gonna have to try to like repress this. That's kind of annoying. I probably should have just left the two original shades in here and then just pulled out the two shades that I thought would be better when I wanted to use them. But I didn't want to do that because I wanted to be able to just like pull out the one palette, you know what I mean? But this might have been a mistake. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll just kind of have to repress it and see. The deeper blue purple doesn't seem to be like struggling as much. It's just this lighter one. Um, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to try to repress it because it's like, okay. And then take another brush. A little bit smaller with the deeper bluey purple and just add a little bit more depth to this to kind of match this side a little bit better because those pinks are like a little bit deeper than that first bluey purple that I used. I'm just kind of putting this all in the same place. I'm not taking it quite as high as the first shade, but I am going to use that lighter blue again just to make sure that the edges are fully blended and the sides look even. And then I constantly just have to look at it to see if the my eyes look even even in terms of where the shadows laid. Super annoying. Uh, but it is what it is. I'm excited to own this palette. I think it's so beautiful. I loved when I was swatching so many of the shimmers, I was like, ooh. Um, I'm glad I waited to buy it though because they did change like some of the mattes because I thought that some of the mattes definitely were too similar to each other and that's why I never bought it to begin with. I was like, they're too similar. Like, and then um, I'm also glad I waited because 
I had seen um, another like creator say before when they had tested this palette, they got sent like this one and the Harvest Moon one at the same time and to try out. And I remember them saying that like the Harvest Moon shimmers and stuff were better, like the brand had changed the formula. And I'm glad I waited because along with just revamping a few of the shades, including the shimmers, they also I think changed the formula of the shimmers to match their other palettes now. And so I was glad I waited because um, now the shimmers are like this same level and formula. So that would have, you know, I wouldn't have liked buying it and then realizing that the shimmers weren't to the same quality. So I'm glad I waited. Sometimes it pays to wait. Okay. Yeah, this light shade that I repressed is literally cracking again, even though I repressed it and it seemed like it was doing better the second time. It might have been a I don't know. I'm just going to have to attempt to repress it. But if I have to mess with it like every time I use it, that's going to be annoying. And it also makes me worry about like if I take this anywhere with me that it's just going, to, I'm going to open it and there's going to be like a broken shade. <sighs> okay. So it's a pretty good. And then I'm going to use this um, brush that I used Renew in, which is that deepest shade. I'm just going to use that same brush and then use that in the outer corner just to again match that outer corner. Use one of the same shades on both sides. Although you can see the difference, like in the bluey purple, this is pulling a lot more like purple looking whereas on this side it looks a little bit more of like a pinky red but it's the same shade but because you know it's mixed with the different colors but just a little bit to deepen the outer corner i feel like on this side it's a lot more noticeable this shade than on this side just because of the difference of how it looks okay okay and then my camera's gonna flip so i'll be back in just a second to do the shimmers okay i'm back i also took the time to like repress that shade <sighs> that one's not gonna go well and again that was one that i put in here myself so that is not anything to do with Ensley Rain or anything like that. <laughs> so throwing that out there. So on the purple side I'm gonna do Pink Moon and Freesia. So um, and then this side I'm gonna do Flower Moon and Dahlia. So like the pink shimmers on the side and the purple on this side. So I think that'll look pretty. Let's see a little bit more. Okay. So this side first, so freesia in the outer portion because it's a little bit deeper. Um, again, it looks like that. If it will focus. Yeah, so like a like mid-tone pinky shade. And this one um, from the swatches and stuff, it really doesn't have a flip. It just is like a really pretty like mid-tone pink shimmer so um and then i'm gonna kind of just put it a little bit at an angle like this so like the front half here is open and it's at like an angle like this um and that's where the second shimmer is gonna go Put that a little too high on accident okay that shade is really pretty okay clean my finger off and then i will go into pink moon which this is like a lighter pink base and it has like a peachy-ish gold 
flip to it but also in certain lighting and in the mirror you can see a green flip to it so i don't know how it will pick up on camera but this is what it looks like on the finger and you can see like the lighter pink base and then it has a peachy green flip to it but i don't know if you can see it in the camera but i'm in my mirror i can see the greeny flip so the cameras just don't do shimmers like these justice you have to see them in person to fully get the effect which stinks because it's like i wish you could see it on the camera because it's so beautiful and cool looking but yeah that looks really pretty with freesia and i feel like i'm getting a little bit of the green flip when i go like this and then you know the pinky base and it's kind of like i'm getting the green and the peachy flip at the same time i'll zoom in and show you the look when i'm all done too so don't don't worry about that if you want to see it closer i zoom you right in to show it but that looks really pretty and then if you ever feel like you accidentally took the second shimmer too far and you took over too much of the first one just get a little bit more of the first one and kind of tap over the edge to fully blend them to kind of what you want and to get the perfect mixture but those look really pretty together um pink moon looks way more shimmery than freesia um and i think it's just because it has more shifts in it and it's a lighter shade but pink moon is still super or freesia is still super sparkly it's just next to pink moon it looks a little bit more tame okay then this side i'm going to do dahlia on the outer half again at that angle and then i'm going to do flower moon in the inner so dahlia is like a mid-tone purple base and then it has um kind of like a pinky flip to it so like it has a mid-tone purple base and then it has like a pink flip to it but then it also has like an icy blue shimmer in it so it's kind of a cool mixture so it looks like this so again it's like that like purpley base but then it has some pink to it too and then it has that like icy blue so okay we're gonna do that first and i'm gonna do that in the outer like i said with this shade is pretty and then before we finish too there was a couple shades in here that i thought looked kind of similar to um a couple in harvest moon so i wanted to swatch them just to compare to see how similar they really are because like just looking at them they look similar but i don't think they will be if i actually swatch them next to each other but i wanted to test it out and see for myself so that looks really beautiful um that like pinky magenta type base is really coming through with the pinks i think if you have this paired with purple more of the purple base but then you get that like icy blue lilac flip to it shimmers in it super pretty okay and then flower moon which has i'm trying to see more of like a like lilac purple base but then it has pink shimmer in it um but then it also kind of has like a greeny gold shimmer so it's like like that lilac purple base with a pinky shimmer to it but then also in certain lighting you get a little bit more of like a green shimmer so just again depends that was one of the other ones that i was trying to get in the mirror because it definitely had a different Ooh, i was trying to make the shimmers on this side very purple heavy and this side pink but because this has that pink flip to it next to the pink mattes the pink and the shimmer is really coming through and you're not getting much of the purple base but i guess i will just <laughs> go with it looks really pretty though 
clean off my finger. I have the shimmer a little too far down, so it's kind of hard to apply it where I want it. Okay. Kind of just putting it in the same place as the shimmers on the other side. That looks really pretty. I wish more of the purple was coming through because that's kind of what I wanted to do, but it's stunning. Um, so this side definitely has like pink shimmer. This side has a mixture of purple and pink because more of the pink is pulling, pulling through on Flower Moon than that like purpley blue base that it has. Okay. Okay. So that's the look. <laughs> um, so again, just like two different looks. Um, eye looks you can make look cohesive as long as you do similar tones and depth. So that way it's not like one side's way darker or lighter than the other. And that's what I did with the shimmers and also the mattes. So I'm gonna go off camera. I know this video is long because I did all the swatches. I showed what the palette looked like before and after with the changes I made, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna do my whole base, show you the finished look, and I'll zoom in so you can really see the shimmers and hopefully see some of the flips and shifts and things. And then I might do some of the swatches to compare it to Harvest Moon to kind of see, and then I will be all done. <laughs> okay, I am back. My face and base are done. My hair is still kind of wet, it's drying. <laughs> I took a shower before I started filming. Um, for the inner corner, I used the same shade on both sides, and I used Awakening, which is like, it almost has like a translucent base. I'll swatch it for you so you can see which one it is. So it looks like this. It almost has more of like a translucent, um, like brownish leaning base. And then it has, yeah, that like greeny shift to it. So I put that on the inner corner. Super pretty. One of the lightest shades in the palette that I would be able to use for an inner corner if a product has too much like base pigment sometimes they don't look good in the inner corner if you're very pale like me <laughs> um so anyway so yeah this is the look i'll zoom in and show you everything close up and then i'm gonna swatch the couple of shades in this that i think look very similar just from looks to the harvest moon palette and then we will kind of see if they are really that similar so Let's zoom in and do this. So again, this is the Flower Moon Palette by Ensley Rain, but I changed out those two shades. You saw that in the beginning of the video. So this is the purple bluey matte side with the two pink shimmers. Um, and then this side is the couple of pink mattes with the purple shimmers, but the one had like pink flips to it. And so next to the pinks, you're definitely getting more of the pink flip and not so much purple. I don't know how much you're seeing on camera in terms of the shifts, but the two lighter shades that I have in the inner part of the lid, they both do have like a greeny flip. And since this side is pulling more towards the pink side instead of the purple, they almost look very similar. Like they're almost the same shade, but they're definitely not. Um, this side has more of like a light pinky peach base, whereas this side has a deeper base to it a little bit. And also again, has more of that purple tone, which is not fully pulling through at the moment. But this is the look. I keep looking up because it's honestly really hard to tell if I'm like fully in the camera. But yeah, I think it looks really pretty and I really like it. And I just feel like I still stand by my choice of switching those two shades out. I think it just looks better for me. Like I just really like how these look with this palette. Um, I will say I maybe should have just left the two shades that I wanted in here instead on the side because this lighter bluey purple, um, she did not repress very well. Um, the other one that I repressed, holding up beautifully, like it perfectly fine, but this one is not, so I'm wondering if it's the formula of that one or something, I'm not totally sure. Um, but now, let's just do the couple of swatches of the shades I think look the same. 
and then I will officially be done and this video is probably like an hour long because of everything but okay so in harvest moon I felt like foliage which is the lighter like orangey yellow shade looks similar to bloom in this palette which is also like a yellowy orange type lighter shimmer so let's swatch and see Ooh, they're different textures though okay so this finger has bloom on it which is from flower moon and this finger has foliage um this one is playing a little more yellow this one's a little bit more orange and you can see this one has a chunkier texture whereas this one is smoother and this one also has a like peachy pink flip um whereas bloom does not bloom is just like yeah those might look somewhat similar in the pan but they are definitely different like way different just clean my fingers off okay so this is what they look like so again this one is bloom this one is foliage foliage you can really see in the camera right now that like peachy pink flip you can also see it has more of a translucent base, whereas Bloom has more of a yellow. Yeah, they look so different. <laughs> but in the pan, they kind of look pretty similar, but you can tell foliage is a little bit more orange, but they still look like way more similar than how that just swatched. Okay, next one that I thought looked kind of similar in the pan is forage and harvest moon and bliss in the flower moon both of these are that like chunkier texture and in the swatches they do look a little bit more similar than the first two i did so this one is bliss from flower moon this one is forage from harvest moon i would say just on the fingers bliss looks a little bit more green whereas this one looks a little bit more olivey so let's see here. Now sometimes these chunkier shimmers don't swatch the best because again they have a little bit bigger chunks and flakes in them. So don't judge these off of the swatches because I can tell you on the eye they apply much more smooth and look way more beautiful but like in swatches sometimes they don't apply very well and they're kind of like space. But yeah so this is bliss and this is forage bliss is definitely a little bit more of like a grass green whereas forage has more of like that olivey gold tone those ones do look a lot more similar than the first two but they still are definitely different shades okay and then was there any other ones i thought looked kind of similar i don't think so primrose kind of looks like deciduous but um you can tell that deciduous or however you say that um has that blue like aqua bluey green flip to it primrose doesn't have that so those definitely aren't similar mm, i don't think there's any others and i kind of looked at these compared to even the other two ensley rain palettes i have because i now have four ensley rain and none of the other ones look similar so yeah these are the only couple that i thought looked similar and they definitely are different so this is my first impressions two looks video with the flower moon palette i really love it i'm glad i bought it i really love the changes that i made to it with the two mattes i'm sad that my repressing of that one mat does not seem to be going very successfully i think i will probably end up <laughs> losing that shade and like it won't last which is upsetting but it's just i should have just left the sh original shades in here and just had the other two's on the side but I didn't want to have to pull out multiple palettes but that's my fault but first impressions exact same as the rain formula that I have in harvest moon lands of enchantment and cold moon mattes are beautiful blend really easy smooth super pigmented but they still blend well and the shimmers are gorgeously stunning super sparkly super shimmery super shifty apply easily absolutely beautiful so yeah, I know I love this. I think it's really beautiful. I think it's a great spring palette, but even going into summer. And I think it matches really well with the rest. Like the shimmers in this palette are lighter than Harvest Moon. So I think 
This would be a great palette with Harvest Moon to pull in a little bit lighter oranges, a little bit lighter um, like greens and purples because there are greens and purple shimmers in here, but they're a little bit deeper. So it would give me like a lighter shimmer to pair with it. It gives lighter pinks and purples and greens to pair with like the mattes in this too. I think they all just work so well together and I love that they have magnetic pans. So if you wanted to like customize and switch things out and create your own whole palette, you can do that. So yeah, I really love it. Um, I think it's absolutely stunning and I'm glad that I officially own it. So that's the video. I know it's a little long, I apologize, but I wanted to show the swatches and do the two looks and also show that I changed the palette a little bit and that is everything, and I will see you next week with something else. <laughs> Thanks, bye.